Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Hollywood Studios and one of the things that I've been trying to do since the parks reopened is get a reservation for the sci-fi dine-in and it's actually been very hard because it's hard to get a reservation at Hollywood Studios and then get a dining reservation the same day. It, it's a little tricky but there is hope and I'm going to show you how. Let's go do this. The Sci-Fi Diner is actually one of those restaurants where if you get a reservation, you're probably going to keep it because it is a very popular spot, as you can tell by all these people waiting out here. And in the past, I've been able to just stroll up to a different Disney restaurant and ask if they can do any walk-ins for, you know, like a party of one. And sometimes you're very successful and you can actually get those hard-to-get reservations. But now, Disney has implemented a system so that it actually corresponds with our current situation. They actually started doing a virtual walk-up list. So if you go into like you would normally check a dining availability, select the date and then go down here like you were going to actually make a reservation and you hit now and it'll give you a variable places that you can actually join a walk-up list so for instance sci-fi dine-in theater right now has a 55 minute wait so we're going to try to join it but this is the part where i don't like it will not let me do a party of one it will let me do a party of four because they don't have any two top tables available and they're not going to seat a single party at a four top table and that kind of makes me a little upset. Like I wish I had three other people with me. I would totally just be like, hey, let's go to sci-fi. So I just have to keep on going back and forth like this. Or what I could do is try to get a reservation. And that's simple now because you hit now for right now and then dinner. So I'm gonna be able to kind of tap the app as much as I could, but I'm gonna have to put in my filters so we're gonna put Hollywood Studios filter and go back and forth until I can get something. I'm gonna just keep on trying and hopefully I get lucky and uh, score myself a last minute either reservation or a walk-up list. The park closes at seven and their last reservation is at eight. So if we can get in there around 7.30, that means we're gonna be able to see Hollywood Studios at night. And that's another thing I've been really wanting to do. All right, guys, I'm feeling lucky. I think it's gonna happen here. I'm gonna go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Just keep tapping that out. And look at that, guys. It actually happened. All you gotta do is keep trying. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> and we got it. That's awesome. That's me. And actually, I waited 10 minutes. 10 minutes. This is so awesome. I am so pumped. I'm going to be talking in a low voice because if you guys aren't familiar what the sci-fi dine is, uh, I'm going to show you right now. It is a drive-in movie restaurant where you actually sit in these awesome cars and watch old movies. It is really awesome in here. And like I said, I'm going to talk very quietly because I don't want to disturb anyone's movie, you know. All of the cars are actually the four top or the two top. So the only thing available were the tables in the back. And that's why I'm not able to get it into one of those cars is because I joined the wait list. But if you're joining the wait list and you have a party of four, you can actually get in those cars. I passed it up many of times um, and I didn't take it because like I said, I'm, I'm only a party of one. And honestly, it does make a big difference. I have dined in the cars and I've dined at the tables back here before and I like it in the cars. It kind of sets the mood a little bit, but once you've done it, it's okay if you want to sit back here, especially if it's the only option you get. If you notice, they have the little radios right there that you would normally see in a drive-in movie. And back here, I actually have my own radio too. Look, it's right here. Isn't that really awesome? We're gonna take a look at the menu right here. They're known for their milkshakes and their burgers. As you can see, the classic drive-in barbecue burger. But down here at the bottom, they have the sci-fi seasonal specialty burger, which is always different. Well, I mean, maybe it runs a month at a time, and I'm always excited to see what it is. One time I got a hot dog hamburger and it was amazing. So we're gonna see what that one is first, and if not, 
we're just going in with a drive-in barbecue burger another very nifty thing is they have one of the most unique alcoholic drinks i've probably ever seen at disney and it's actually called the orbiting oreos this is alcoholic oreo shake mixed with chocolate liqueur with a glow club that sounds so interesting i don't think i can drink it while i wait for my order i'm gonna actually let you guys watch a little bit of the TV or well, right now it's intermission time so you gotta run over and get all your popcorn and snacks now the seasonal burger is a southwest burger and it's served with pimento cheese and fried green tomatoes I think I'm probably gonna pass on that and just stick with the drive-in barbecue burger another thing I want to point out is take a look at the outside look at that backdrop isn't it so cool it really looks like you're dining underneath the stars This is also something really cool to point out. Notice the license plates on the cars have Disney on them. These are all actual nods to Imagineers that have worked on the cars or for the company before. And each car actually, I think, has a different license plate, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that one's different. That's Nevada. This one over here that I showed you before is California. Yeah, that's really nifty. I actually just got confirmation that the letters are their initials and then the numbers are their birthdays. Tom and Jerry. And our burger has arrived. Look at this. I love it. I like it. Oh yeah. Normally it comes with french fries, but you can upgrade to get onion rings. But since I got the signature burger that comes with an onion ring already, I just stuck with the fries. It also has fried jalapenos, cheese, bacon, and barbecue sauce. I'm very excited. The bun looks great. Oh boy, I feel like I might end up getting some barbecue sauce on my black t-shirt. It's just killing me in a mini skirt. So let's just try this. All right, all right. It is very, very delicious. And the french fries actually have a different seasoning than your normal Disney french fries seasoning or Disney french fries. They're actually a different texture. A lot of people that say the french fries at Disney are all the same, it's not true. Don't listen to them. They don't know their french fries. It's also good to point out that they're socially distancing the cars. So it's every other car and your own party gets its own car. Of course, the bigger tables have the stretch cars or like they call them the stretch limos. But usually sometimes I've seen them put two tops or four tops and then uh, two top behind it. That's not the case anymore. That was absolutely delicious. One of the best burgers I actually had on property in a while. I don't know why I think maybe their bun is a little bit different I think their patty is kind of like your regular patty but the fried jalapenos with the fried onion rings actually added a good texture anywho I enjoyed it a lot but now let's get going so we can let somebody else have this table I love all the props that they actually have in here too look at this old-timey payphone and then of course the actual movie posters that one is awesome very cool spot well i think that's gonna do it for me i hope you guys enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it um i've been kind of obsessed with cobra kai the spin-off tv show that's on netflix that's based off of karate kid and normally i like to add a little b-roll into the video but since it's kind of off topic and it's more about dining i decided i'll put it at the end of the video so uh i'm gonna end it with that i hope you guys like karate kid or if you like uh, banana rama because you'll probably like the music anywho's we'll see you next time bye